Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech, and today I am taking a look at a couple cases for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus from OtterBox. Now I've done some OtterBox unboxings in the past on the channel for the iPhone XS Max, and I just got these for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and just wanted to take a quick look at these, unbox them, try them on the phone, and give a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison between the commuter and the symmetry. Now, in the past, I've only really used the symmetry, and the commuter offers a little bit more protection in that it's a dual-layer case. So if you're looking and you want to figure out between these two what you might prefer, hopefully this video will help. So first, we'll take a look at the symmetry because it is a little bit of a more slim case, and it offers you know a pretty a good amount of protection, but doesn't add a ton of extra extra bulk. So I'm just going to open the box and pretty much all OtterBox cases nowadays come kind of in the same sort of packaging where the case is just in here and it just kind of slides out the side. And so this is no exception to that. So if you take a look at the case itself, uh, the back is kind of like a harder plastic. And this is that nice material that doesn't really pick up a lot of fingerprints not too slippery either so it's kind of this matte finish which i really like and the side of the case and around the bottom and the top is more of a flexible rubber as you can kind of see here and that's pretty much how all the symmetry cases are made it's that kind of more of a hard plastic with the rubber around the edges which generally lets you pop the phone in pretty easily you know just kind of snaps right in and you're basically good to go as with all OtterBox cases I mean all the cutouts are really well done so you can see everything's accessible you can still get to, to the pen microphone holes USB-C holes on the top of the phone as well it does have a nice lip on there so it does give you quite a bit of lift off of the table and if we take a look at the width of the case or a width of the phone with the case it's about 83 millimeters where the phone by itself at least on my calipers is about 77 so 83 millimeters with the case about 77 without the case and again that's what this it might not be 100 percent accurate but at least the the differences so 77 83 and it does not really add that much depth so that's good it doesn't really get, add too much bulk to the to the overall phone but gives you a pretty decent amount of protection and I like the fact that the sign I've made comments before about this on other phones I like the fact that the rubber is on the side because it helps it from slipping out of your hands when you grab this it's a pretty positive grip with the with the rubber there so pretty pretty nice and overall you know like this is the more slim option from OtterBox. It's their slimmest case. Still offers pretty decent amount of protection, I would say, because I've used these cases in the past on different phones, but it is minimal in its coverage, right? It's, it's minimal in its drop protection. It should do pretty well, but it's not going to be as beefy as the commuter. And then from there, there's the Defender line, which is the full really robust case which I would never use because it just makes the phone way too big but that's also an option if if either one of these cases isn't enough protection for you so now this is the OtterBox commuter and as you can see it's a little bit thicker you can see this this here it's deeper at the top level right you can see just in the two of these this is you know fairly minimal this is quite a bit thicker And if you kind of stack these, well, you can't really tell here, but it is a little bit thicker 
uh, you know, depth wise. It's about the same actually width wise. We'll do a quick measurement here too to see that. But one of the things that you'll notice with the commuter is it's like a actual two part case, right? So it has a rubber interior piece that kind of protects the phone there and then it has the hard plastic on the outside. So it is a dual, it's a two piece case. It has the OtterBox certified drop protection there. This one does have the cover for the USB-C port, the little rubber cover, but all the other holes are open. Top. Got your volume controls, power button, and all of that. And this usually is pretty similar too. It's a little bit more effort to get the case on because of the rubber, but uh, as you can see, now this really starts to give you more protection because the sides here uh, comes up a little bit higher on the rounded edge of the phone. So it does offer a little bit more protection on the side of the phone as well. It does offer quite a bit on the top, quite a bit of lip there to keep the screen a little bit elevated. You have all your same cutouts. Buttons work perfectly fine. A little bit more effort on here as compared to the symmetry case, but, but still um, pretty nice. And that's what it looks like. So, I mean, it does give a little bit more of a bulk feel to the phone, but obviously also offers a little bit more protection. So this one is actually, yeah, I didn't think it was that much wider. So this is about 85 millimeters. Uh, the symmetry was 83 millimeters. Mm, I guess I can measure this way too. So this is about 12 and a half millimeters. If you're measuring kind of the thickness here. And here it's about 10 or 11, 10.86, 11. So it's about a millimeter thicker from the glass to the back on the commuter than the symmetry. So the commuter is just a couple millimeters wider and a millimeter or two uh, deeper from the screen to the back of the case. But overall, both of these are very nice cases. And not, I guess, you know, I, I, I went into this thinking that the, the commuter would be a lot thicker and a lot bigger, but it's really not. It's really not that much bigger, I guess. So I probably really wouldn't notice the difference in either of these on a day-to-day -day basis, other than, you know, the fact that this is feels bulkier, gives you more grip on the side, right? So it has some of these textured side panels on the rubber to kind of give you a little bit of more of a handle and a grip there. So that's nice. This one, the symmetry has some of that as well, but it's obviously not as, it's not as pronounced or that sort of thing. So here's comparison side by on the sides, comparison on the top. Comparison on the bottom, and like I said, you know, for me, I I really do like the the symmetry, just because it does just feel more sleek in the hand. But if you're looking for a little bit more protection, then I might you know suggest to go with, with the commuter case. Can't go wrong with either of these, I'm pretty sure. I'll drop the links in the description below. I got both of these off of Amazon. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those in the comment section below. And let me know if, uh, if, if anybody out there has either of these cases, what are your experiences with them? This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.